This is going to change the game. Nakita nyo ba yan? Look at that display. Look at that body. Look at the sides. And that build quality, oh my god. This, my friends, is no Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. But it definitely looks like one. Feels like one. It functions like one. At maniniwala ba kayo na kay Cherry Mobile siya? This is the Cherry Aqua GR. Take note, hindi na ba siya Cherry Mobile Aqua? That is because it is now rebranded to Cherry Philippines, formerly known as the Cherry Mobile. This is probably the most insane specs for the price I have ever seen. Una una, Dimensity 7050 processor. Almost 530,000 points on Tutu Benchmark. A huge 6.8 inch Full HD Plus 120Hz AMOLED display. At ayun na nga, meron siyang 108 super pixel camera with 50 megapixel AI triple camera. 66 watts fast charging. All for under 12,000 pesos. Hindi, hindi lang kasi specs yung nagdala sa kanya. Yung even yung kanyang design. Oh my god, the display, the design, the camera, everything about this phone just blows my mind. Grabe siya. Hindi ako prepared dito. Nagulat din yung mga videographers ko, editors, they were like, Oh, toto ba yan? Kasi alam nila, we have been reviewing a lot of Sulit phones here in our studio. And this is the first time we're getting this kind of level of quality, premiumness, and Sulitness for the price. Pero this is getting too long. Let's unbox this phone. Apat si Bins and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo! Okay, so ito na. So sa sobrang ganda ng phone, doon lahat napunta yung budget. No? Kasi sa box, medyo simple lang yung box guys. Ito lang po yung itsura niya. Ito lang po. Before kasi si Cherry Mobile, marami siyang parang cover na sobrang ganda and flashy. But this one, very simple lang po yung box niya. Okay, let's unbox. And this is how it looks like. The SIM ejector pin. And underneath, the jelly case. Nice cut out. Make some siyang silica gel. Don't eat. May kasama siyang quick start guide right here. Very nice. Oh, may sa pa siyang silica gel. <laughs> Dami ah. Kaya pala medyo tinipid yung kanyang box. Doon na punta. Silica gel. Here's the phone. Oh my god. Ito talaga, hindi tinipid. <laughs> Ang ganda. And underneath, we're getting, look at this, two boxes. One and two. Guys, yung kanyang charger is huge. The fast charger that comes with the phone is 66 watts na po yan. At USB Type-C cable to USB Type-C, flagship. Kahit si Xiaomi walang ganyan. C to C po yung cable at napakahaba po nung cable. Ang haba naman ito. And the other one is a pair of earphones. Guys, may magandang earphones po siya kasama sa loob ng box. Na USB Type-C connector. My microphone pa. Wow, Cherry Mobile. Ito na po yung phone. Okay, and... Ooh. Bro, hawakan mo nga yung likod niya. Grabe, ang premium, di ba? Sobrang premium. The build quality is off. Dare I say, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Yes, ito po yung build quality dun. We've got it here. Let's compare it right now. Yes, no? Grabe, no? Paano ito ginawa ni Cherry? Ah, kaya pala wala silang release for the past two years. Naganda! Hindi pa daw ready yung loan sa bank. Two years daw yung hinintay nila. And ito na pwede niya ka. <laughs> Pero pwede ko nag-aipong talaga sila ng resources and uh, engineers to actually get this done. Look at the back of the phone. Is this? Yes, that definitely is metal finish at the back. Matte finish. Look at that cherry logo. Grabe, no? Nag nagbabago na yung pananaw ko kay cherry. It kind of feels... A lot more premium now. And that camera at the back, ang laki! Parang naalala ko yung ano ko dito. Yung webcam ko. Mukha siyang webcam, guys. Look at that. Webcam. But yes, this is the AI Matrix 108MP triple camera set up at the back. Meron siyang 108 super pixel camera with 50 megapixel AI triple camera. Grabe siya. And that thickness. Dito talaga siya nagmukhang... S23 Ultra, no? Kaya lang yung size niya ay mukhang plastic lang. Oh, yes, it's plastic. Pero guys, pag hinawakan mo siya, grabe, no? Uh, parang sobrang solid yung feel niya. And even the display feels like the S23 Ultra, guys. Ito na yung comparison, na Grabe, sobrang gaya talaga. Uh, it's so impressively mimicking that phone and it just blows my mind. It did, wow. But yes, going to the sides... Ito na po, power button, volume rocker sa taas niya. Sa taas meron siyang microphone, sa left side wala po, sa ilalim is the speaker, USB type support, isa pang microphone, and that is a dual nano SIM card slot, pero wala siyang micro SD card for expandability. Kaya lang naka 256 na siya na ROM. Now, not only is it the same shape as the S23 Ultra, but also the same size. 6.8 inches din po siya, 
120 Hz AMOLED display. I'm not even sure kung Samsung display to. Grabe naman yun, Samsung display to. <laughs> but this one is a very smooth, very vibrant display. What? Talagang pinaghandaan po ni Cherry Mobile tong phone na to. Look at that display. This is a true flagship-like display. Alam mo yung tipong parang akala mong tinipid siya dahil nga 12,000 lang. There could be some parts na talagang tinipid, but no. They didn't hold back with the tech. It looks like some way, somehow, they managed to create this impressive 3D curved display with excellent touch response. Ito ah, yung kanyang touch sampling rate is by default 240 hertz touch sampling rate. We tested it out. Wow, sobrang responsive. Sobrang spot on ng touch niya dito sa display. Every swipe feels so tight. Except for the curve sides. Yun, napansin namin guys sa gaming, doon po siya. Nagka-problems like for example sa Mobile Legends yung shop. Ayun, so hindi siya nag-register agad. Meron siyang problem sa ganun. Which is also sakit din ni Samsung. And pretty much any 3D curve display. That's why I always say kapag ka gaming, flat display dapat. Okay. What? Meron po siyang 21 Guys, may 4K 60 FPS HDR po siya sa YouTube. Look at that display. Nabubloon away ako sa nakita ko. To see is to believe. Also, sobrang bright ng display niya. Binababa ako ngayon yung kanyang, ayan, binaba ko na yung kanyang brightness. Grabe guys, pag nakita yung display, <laughs> mabubloon away talaga kayo. You will tell yourself, is this really a 12,000 peso phone? Wait, baka kasi awkward yung itsura niya sa likod kapag uh, ganito? N no? Hindi, ma-ogi. Tapos pag nag-picture ka, selfie. Alam mo yung tipong at first glance kapag nakita mo yung phone na to, you will easily mistake it for a 30, 40,000 peso smartphone. Yes. Ganun po siya ka-premium yung dating and yung feel. Pwede mo ito ipahiram sa kahit anong kaibigan mo, kapatid mo, family member. Huh? They will also feel na, really? Wow. Seryoso? 12K lang to? Yeah. Yun yung mga reaction ng mga editors ko just a while ago. And yes, everything looks very smooth. The operation of the UI, from scrolling sa Facebook, browsing on Google, everything feels so snappy, so smooth. It feels like the phone itself is just flowing. Grabe. Pati yung pag-open ng drawer, ah, ganda na animation, so smooth. Even the animation of opening the apps. Nakita nyo yun? Here's the slow-mo. Boom. Ang ganda. And going back home, bababa po yung app. Ganun, may ganun siya animation. Bababa siya. Babalik siya dun sa drawer, no? Uy, may sariling... App dito yung flashlight dun sa home screen. Although medyo malaki yung kanyang punch hole. Yun na naman. Pero like I told you, easily solved by changing the wallpaper. Now sa gaming, ito po yung itsura muna ng Antutu benchmark niya. Meron po siya MediaTek Dimensity 7050 5G processor. Sa so 5G na po ito. And it's 564,000 points Antutu benchmark. Now the true value of this phone, no? a combination na, since ganito siya kalaki 6.8 inches, it's so close to being a tablet or a phablet parang phone and tablet at the same time. Grabe, dahil malaki siya, content consumption is king. Talagang mag-enjoy ka dito kapag ka nanonood ka ng mga movies. Sobrang sagad ng content dahil curve yung sides. Kinumpare ko sa S23 Ultra para makita yung difference nilang dalawa and you cannot tell the difference, guys. Wow, that is saying a lot. And when you're playing games, dito talaga nagbamatter itong napakalaking display. Guys, sa Mobile Legends, wow. This is how it looks like. Sa sobrang vibrant po ng display at sa sobrang responsive ng display, grabe, sobrang nakaka-enjoy siyang pindutin, mag-execute ng combos. That's right. You can actually execute combos really quickly here. Kasi nga, by default, 240 hertz siya touch something rate. They did not mention this in the marketing. Pero, hmm, buto lang, test tayo. At ang high resolution ng game dito, oh by the way, ito na po, ultra graphics, super refresh rate po siya. Feeling ko baka kaya niyo yung ano, eh, ultra refresh rate kung magiging best friend sila ni Moonton at uh, i-optimize to ni Moonton. Magbayad muna daw ng tax, sabi ni Moonton. Ayan, maglagay muna kayo, uh, Cherry Mobile, kaya... Paring Moonton, ayan, para maging friends na kayo. Hindi daw ito nadadaan sa inuman. Kailangan sa pera daw. Hey, okay na ito, no? Uh, looks like yung default na ni Moonton ngayon is ultra graphics and super refresh rate. Ayan. Yun nga lang napansin ko, sa sobrang laki ng display niya, meron siyang pros and cons. Yung pros niya is everything in the game looks much more immersive at your hands has a lot more room to work with, no? Um, ang laki ng screen real estate, ang sarap mag-combo. Siguro kung funny user ka, no? parang mas masarap siya mag, ano, mag cable dito. Pero, yun nga lang, no? yung mga buttons no, sa gitna, like for example, yung, yung regen at yung recall ay medyo malayo. No? Sa gitna talaga siya and you'll have to reach it 
a bit na sa gitna. Kung maliit yung inyong mga fingers or kamay, baka mahirapan kayo dito, no? Yun na naman. Pero kung mahaban na yung fingers nyo, ibig sabihin masaya si Joa. Na joke lang. Tapos sa Call of Duty naman, wow! Look at that gameplay. No? Grabe. Ang laki pala ng impact ng napakalaking display. So if you're coming from a 6.7 inch, lalo na pag 6.5 inch na yung phone mo dati, the difference is actually huge kahit point something lang yung inches na dinagdag. Mas immersive, mas malaki, mas maganda yung graphics actually ito. Oh by the way, sobrang optimized niya sa Call of Duty. Uh, meron siya max frame rates, oh my god, pero... Yes, low graphics lang po. If you want that super smooth 60 FPS, they have it here. Also, touch response, five fingers. Very, very responsive. No ghost touching, guys. Kasi nga, uh, every button is nasa gitna naman. Hindi siya sa curve banda. So, definitely, yes. Uh, grabe siya sa Call of Duty. Gyroscope, well, calibrated po siya. No? In, in po. Uh, wow. Nag nagulat ako. Talagang, kung sino may yung behind dito. No? Feeling ko, gamer yung... Uh, gumawa nito. Gamer ang nagsabi dun sa back end. Uy, looks like okay yung phone pero kasi nilaro ko siya. Kulang pa sa optimization. Na? So, yung gusto na sabi niya. Gamer yung marketing. Nako, gamer. They know what you want, guys. And they also know what I want kasi nga meron po siyang stock Android experience. Oh my God. Tinignan ko nga eh. Sabi ko, nasaan yung bloatware apps? No bloatware apps. It's totally stock Android. That's why everything looks so smooth, so minimal, wala po siyang skin, talagang basic na basic siya, ganoon dapat. Ginulat lahat ni Cherry Mobile. Ayun. At sa Genshin Impact, nako, oh wow. Apart from the beautiful graphics that you're seeing on screen, it looks like they also optimized the performance kasi ngayon ibang chipset guys, even though powerful sila, kapag nilaro mo sila sa mga itong klaseng phones, if hindi siya optimized, magiging very laggy siya. But somebody reached out to the developers and said, you gotta optimize this before we release this in the Philippines. And that's what actually happened. Sobrang smooth po niya. Even at the highest settings, what? No, ganito lang yung to benchmark, pero ang smooth po niya tingnan. About 45 to 50 frames per second. And as you can see, we're playing very smoothly right here. OMG. Kahit ako, nagugulat ako sa sarili kong review. Kahit na-review ko na siya. Kasi nga, uh, there are some information na ngayon lang din sinabi sa akin. At ngayon ko lang din tinatest during the review. May mga cuts po to. Tinitingnan ko lahat po yan. No? The gameplay, the performance, before I actually say it. My gosh, grabe. Matin dito, sobrang tindi. Sabi ko na bagay yung price at tapos na to. Ha? <laughs> You gotta check out the camera first. Ito na po yung camera niya. Meron pa siyang 108MP triple camera setup na meron pa siyang ultra-wide angle lens. And we're not really sure kung ano yung isang lens dito. Pero ito may mga photos na nakuha namin sa kanyang camera. Now the camera on this thing is... Wow! Napapawaw na, talaga ako. Beast na beast po siya for the price. Definitely amazing in terms of the sharpness and the detail when it has good lighting. Kailan the colors are a little bit saturated. For my taste, medyo boosted po yung kanyang color. But if you love what you're seeing, definitely an amazing camera. Meron pa siyang 0.6x, ito po yung itsura nun. And these are the photos of for the low lights, no? Sa indoor shots. Grabe, okay, okay na okay siya. Although not as sharp as real flagship devices. Yun yung talaga pwede madaya ng isang mid-range phone or entry level phone. So, medyo mahal kasi talaga yung mga tunay na flagship devices. They really cost so much. That's what you're paying for for a true flagship phone. And get this, it can go as high as 4K 30 frames per second sa video. And the camera app is just so easy to use. Feeling ko talaga stock Android to kasi nga. Ayun no, ang dali, ang simple masyado. Everything is just so easy to access here and understand. A very compact and intuitive camera app. Ito pa yung tura night mode niya. And uh, yes, definitely much more improved kapag ka low light ang uh, scenery. And the selfie, pretty nice, pero kasi medyo off yung kanyang white balancing. Face is magenta, and it could be sharper. Yun na naman. Ginunat lahat ni Cherry Mobile Aqua Gur or GR. <laughs> and the price of the Aqua Gur is only 11,999 pesos for the 8256 na po yan. Can go as high as 16 gigabytes style of extended RAM. All I can see right now is, it's an easy recommend. Talagang kung hindi nyo talaga ma-afford sila Samsung, yung mga flagship devices, this will truly give you that flagship level experience. Walang ako nakita ads, no? Kung kay Realme siya, kung may ads yung ibang ano nila, yung gallery pa nila. It takes away from the premiumness of the experience. But this gives you that premium experience. Yun nga lang, hindi mo maasahan masyado yung kanilang uh, software updates kasi nga, mas magbamahal to kung mayroong software updates. Ayun, so, be ready lang. Handa lang kayo sa mga ganon kapag bibili nyo to. Pero yun, in terms of the flagship level experience, lalo na yung gaming, sus Mariosep. Uh, well done, Nico. I love you, bro. 
And if you love this phone, uh, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. Kasi, kung hindi mo afford to, meron dito mas murang Cherry Mobile Aqua S11 Pro with also some nice specs and it looks like an iPhone. So if you're interested in this, subscribe na, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you on the next video. Let's be in watching Unbox Series. Woohoo!